I think in our uh, 20 plus year career of being alive <laughs> for me and uh, a little longer for you, we've agreed uh, or we've agreed and disagreed on many things. Mm-hmm. The one thing we both agreed on was that uh, uh, Crocs <laughs> or the Ethan's shoe. Uh, disgusting, <laughs> gruesome, and should be killed. Oh yeah, you're horrible. Uh, the only the only shoe worse than that is the five the the five separate toe shoe. Uh, what are those called? I don't know what they're called, but they're disgusting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where each toe goes into a yeah, slot. Yeah, 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 gross. And they're like, I think they're like for swimming or something. They're somehow worse than Birkenstocks, which is a feat. Oh. That's a question before we get into what I was going to talk about. Okay. Uh, we agreed on this, though. Crocs are, are yeah, heathen's yeah. shoes. Crocs are for assholes. Yes. Really. So, is Crocs in your world worse than Birkenstocks? Yeah, you know why? Because Birkenstocks are just the shoe, the preferred shoe of dusty lesbians. I'm not talking beautiful lesbos or uh, bull dykes or anything like that. I'm talking dusty old, smells like armpits, lesbians. From the seventies, and mind you, they deserve a shoe. I'm not saying they don't deserve a shoe. Yeah, shoe I'm for just everyone. saying that's the worst shoe you could pick, chick. Anyway, so if it wasn't worn by lesbians, would it? It suck? would just no. It still suck ma- massive. Yeah, I was balls. about to say you're making. It I sound... feel like the entire ancient Grecian world decided we're not going to do this shoe anymore. Why? Because it brought our society to its knees. Oh, that our was ancient civilization. You're right. That is the reason. Yeah, when Pompeii went under. A lava. It was actually because they threw all those shoes into the into the fucking what is it Mount Vesuvius or wherever the fuck. <laughs> uh, they threw all that motherfucking shit in there and it just made the lava overflow. Facts. Yeah, Check the lava out. was like, we don't want to be in the same place as these godforsaken <laughs> shoes. We're outies. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Crocs so, are uh, definitely worse. And I'll say this about mm-hmm. Crocs as well. Uh, not only are they disgusting and should only be worn by fat chefs. But they also make your foot stink. Nah. <laughs> Am so I right? I gotta, I got I gotta say. When the, I said the, make the your one, foot stink, I meant your foot. The one, the 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 thing, the thing that we both agreed on. The one thing on the world that we both agreed on, uh, for over uh, at least seventy five years, <laughs> has unfortunately changed recently. For I am now a crockite. Mm-hmm. They call me Wanter Cronkite. Um, also, Wanter <laughs> Cronkite is a guy, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. Mom got me some fake ass Crocs. I mean, they're not even real Crocs. Yeah, they're alligators. They're mad, mad fake from Dollar General. Uh-huh. And I've been wearing them shits, and them shits have been pleasant on my feet. So I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, I used to wear these like uh, horrifyingly hard shanklas, also known as flip flops. Also known as you reduced them to paper mache. Nah, homie, mine are still intact. Yours are like non-existing, guy. Mine are fucking cushions for the gods. Nah, homie, I've... pillows for angels. You, they call your freaking your toes. This is the end of the. This is the end of the freaking flip flop, and your toes are like this, guy. Nah. You're like gargoyling on top <laughs> yeah, of them shit. That's what I was about to say. That's because I like a. I like the gargoyle game. I like to, I, I like to claw onto my fucking flops. You see, so, so why did I turn to Bill Cosby for a second? <laughs> so that if uh, should I ever be on a precipice, my feet are trained to hold on. Steadily. When the hell are you gonna be in a precipice? I've been in precipice before, man. Name one time you've been in a precipice. It's a long story. The point is, I was in a precipice, Damn, homie. and uh, you know, I gargoyled on, and and, and I, here I am. To tell the story, which I just avoided telling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt the story exists. <laughs> oh, it exists, baby. But you ain't going to hear it here. So, you have to pay for that one. <laughs> visit, our, open a, visit our non-Patreon. Open a page just for that? Yeah. So, yeah, man. I'm not even going to lie. Them shits is mad comfy. Um, uh, but they do have a major downside, which you already mentioned. And yeah. that's that... They make your feet smell. Straight Fritos. Like, the cheese. <laughs> like straight Cheetos, guys. And you know what sucks balls? For me, anyway, and for my nozum, as uh, Udo Kier would have it. Yeah. Uh, reference that very few people will get. Yeah. But if you got it, you're awesome. But anyway, uh, fucking, uh, for me, it sucks the worst because, you know, I, I like to watch me a flick on the daily, to be precise. Uh-huh. Sometimes multitude flicks, if you will. And so I sit down there after you have 
gargoyled on my floor. I don't, I don't gargoyle, okay? And <laughs> let me tell you, for a couple of weeks, I was like, damn, my feet be stanking? Or what the shit is that, man? <laughs> As it turns out, it was just the residual stank from your <laughs> heathen crock foot. <laughs> That had remained, and today, as you shuffled your feet about and released uh, many a spore of disgusting foot stench, I realized it's the same fucking stink. So, so it penetrated my fucking rug, which has seen, let me tell you, some some war yeah. uh, torn uh, 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 frenzy in its day. That shit looks gray, guy. Yeah, and it's, it's a red rug. It's a red rug, and it's it's straight gray. But now it's just <laughs> disgusting Frito rug, thanks to your fucking feet, man. So, <laughs> here's the thing: like you might say, maybe he's just got the stank foot. I don't think in my life I've ever had a stinky foot. No, you've had stinky feet. I, I've smelled your feet before, and this all has I'm to trying do to make, with your I'm disgusting try- habit of not throwing your damn. <laughs> Uh, uh, socks in the in the. I'm trying to the, build. I'm trying to build a case for the against the croc here, and you're 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 not going for it. Well, I'm gonna help your case because I, I just gotta. You can't ignore the fact that your feet have stunk previously. Rarely <laughs> on various occasions. Rarely do they they have stunk, but they don't smell like feet. Well, here. Well, well. Let me tell you this. You have this weird habit of not putting your socks in the hamper. Indeed. And then sometimes you'll reuse it, said socks. I'm not even going to lie. I've worn these socks like four times. Yeah. So them socks be mad stank. <laughs> <laughs> so your feet have stunk. Yeah. Believe you me. But now that they're crocked out, them motherfuckers be chomping, man. Dude. Like, damn, homie. Chop them true. feet. I feel like recently I've I've done the re the rewear technique a little too much, mm-hmm. which is like the worst time to be rewearing when you wear Crocs. So these socks, like I mentioned, I've worn at least twice in the week, and they were in my crocked uh, feet mm-hmm. previous, so they were already stanking, and the stink has just built. So now it's just like a straight Cheeto. <laughs> I wish it was a Cheeto. At least a Cheeto scrumptious. This fucking shit straight reeks, man. Dude, it smells like a damn Cheeto, nah, dude. Homie. Well, so, you know like a Frito bag when it's stale as shit? That's where you're at right now. I'm not, stale Fritos, the worst. I'm not even going to lie. Earlier in the week, uh, I, I put some insoles on my in my Crocs. Because mm-hmm. if you want to be disgusting and a heathen, <laughs> that's something that you should do. Um and them shits still smell like damn Cheetos. They'll be sniffing them shits. You were huffing fucking your insoles. They that's... smell good, man. Like Cheetos. Nah, homie. That's not Cheetos, man. If it's Cheetos, it's like, I don't know, poison Cheetos. Is that a flavor? Poison that, yeah. That's what you've achieved. Straight poison feet. <laughs> I can smell them now, man. It's disgusting. You're not that bad, guy. It's pretty bad. It's... Well, I, don't get me worse. Uh, don't get me wrong. It could be worse. I could be smelling your straight fucking berijas, which would uh, suck ass. I hate, I hate crevice stink. It's the worst. I'm a, I'm a, but I'll take, I'll take the foot uh, stink over the crevice stink. I'm not insinuating that you stunk like crevice, although you did uh, at certain points. Oh, but I, I definitely smell like crevice this morning. I was did you? vigorously exploring my weenie, also known as <laughs> uh, whacking off. <laughs> And I was like, damn, homie. Damn, <laughs> homie, your crevice stunk? Well, yeah, man. Wash that shit, homie. I did. It's kind of like, it's not winter time. It should be cold right now, but it's not. Uh, it's super hot where we're at. Or it could be worse, but it, it's still all, like kind of like beginning of summer hot here, which is stupid. Oh, damn weather. It's so fucking dumb, this weather, that... The ants are confused as to what the fuck's going on. Mm. Like, they literally sheltered up. You know, they got brought the little rocks over the yeah. little hole. And then they got steaming hot again. And they're like, what the fuck is this shit? I guess we're going to go out and get some more food. And they went out, got some more food. And, and now they're just, like, milling around again. And they're like, I guess this is a thing, guy. <laughs> that's that's good. Anyway, uh, uh, when it's hot, your crevices be stank. Yeah. And uh, you got to scrub them shits, you know? <laughs> Or it builds up, you know? So anyway, it's been kind of like mildly hot, right? And for about four days, I didn't shower. Why, you might ask? Because I I hadn't even sweated or anything, right? Mm -hmm. I literally was inside for four days, as most people are right now. 
Uh, there was no sweat. There was no nothing like that. It's cold in here, you know. So I didn't feel that I needed to shower really. Uh, but then I realized, what am I, Heath? Because my crev my crevices, you know, they still gotta lubricate themselves because they're rubbing against each other and shit. You know, so I was like, I bet you these crabs be rank. Oh, man. So uh, I dipped a fing in there. <laughs> in Come the, on, guys. In the crevice. And this shit was stank, yo. I was like, this crevice is bad. So, yeah, yeah, I, I did the, the service that had to be done because uh, I should not ignore showering on the daily. But uh, I did because I was being lazy. But holy shit. Anyway, I don't know what that has to do with Crocs yeah. other than... Then I'd rather smell stanky crock feet than, than than crevice. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. And the, the topic of reeks, uh, bodily reeks. Um, earlier we had some uh, some. Well, I had a sub, a subway sub. Yeah. And you had a a, a burger. Mm-hmm. Uh, the burger part is not important. I'm just saying. You mad craved it? Yeah, dude. That shit looked good. It when, good? It when, I'll tell you what. It wasn't mad great. dry. Eh, it was just whatever. Uh, so anyway, I had this, uh, they had this sub that had, uh, onions and onion sauce in it. I'll tell you what, I'm regretting the mask this, at this point, cause, boof! Onions! Last, it's, it's been hours, too. Last week, I had a sub, and it was a, a tuna sub, and, uh, I went, where did I go? I went somewhere, anyway. Oh, I went to Dollar Tree, and I had the mask on, and, you know, I mean, you don't, brush your teeth after every single fucking thing that you do so i hadn't brushed my teeth yet you know what i'm saying and damn homie i was straight eating that sub again this shit <laughs> and it was tuna and it had onions in it and shit like that i must i don't know man like i don't even used to like tuna sandwiches but all of a sudden i'm a tuna fan yeah what is it? uh and then i heat them up which creates a stank all of its own you know like a hot tuna Gross. It does, man. Although a cold tuna ain't ain't exactly something pleasing either. You know what I'm saying? If anything, it's more rank. Uh, but anyway, whatever. That shit was just being shotgunned up my fucking nostrils, dude. It was bomb atrocious. <laughs> I tell you, that's the worst thing about this, this mask thing. Not the fact that there's literally thousands of people dying and sick right now. But the fact that I have to smell my grotesque breath. Uh, it's not good. Uh, I'd rather smell my feet, which uh, for What's the record, you're doing? <laughs> smell good. <laughs> Damn, homie. you need to get some fucking bean dip for your feet. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, uh, because I've been uh, rocking these uh, rip off Crocs for a while. Um, I'm starting to wonder if maybe the scent is the the stink foot situation is exclusive to the rip off Croc. No. Um, the... I feel like the, the 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 proper Crocs actually have some kind of non. You're you're look, man. I'm just gonna point this out because you haven't pointed this out. First of all, any plastic on your foot is gonna cause your foot to sweat and True. make it stank. Second, you got dress socks on, which is the no, worst thing. No, you think these are dread? These aren't dress socks, guy. These are just black socks. Nah, homie. well, they smell like dress socks, which. That means you've you've broken the barriers of common sense. They're and not good taste. They're not dress socks. They're just black socks. Damn, homie. They're actually, like I they're, said, you they're transcended actually, something. They're actually diabetic uh, people socks because they're mad comfy. Are they? Yeah, dude. They don't got the like, the super tight elastic, so you just got mad comf. You know what else you got? Mad fucking stank. True. On them hooves. Well, here's the thing. At what point? Is suffering for beauty <laughs> and common decency worth it? I'd rather be comfortable in having that mad, stanky I feel like foot. Beauty and common decency have nothing to do with anything related to a fucking uh, croc. Obviously, right? Yeah, That's exactly. a given, right? However, comfort... Mad comfy. ...is kind of like, you know, at odds with the idea of having to... Uh, Great shotgun, uh, fucking uh, cheese scent up your fucking nostrils twenty four seven. Yeah, guy. Okay. Well, here's well, the, apparently you love the cheese he, scent. So. Here's the thing. Yeah, I've actually kind of liked the cheese scent. Also, I'm assuming 
that once you wash the crock, it goes away. You assume too much. I just haven't <laughs> washed the crock. Well, fucking scrub that shit. <laughs> Hold me, what the fuck? This crock be stanky? It does be stanky. I do already got a backup crock. I could literally um, go to a crocodile enclosure <laughs> and it would smell less bad than that no, crock. No, I mean, crocs smell like fish. Um, I do already got a backup crock and I was even thinking of getting a real crock. This is how much of a crock I'd have become. Um... Crocs are expensive though. Yeah, dude. I was I saw that shit. I was like, what the hell? Freaking forty bucks for a croc? It's ridiculous. And then I was like, oh, they gotta be cheap on Amazon, right? Hell no. Nope. I, f- I feel that any shoe that's oh, this is just in general, any footwear that's over thirty bucks is too much for footwear. I agree. You know, footwear should not cost more than thirty bucks. Sh- shoes should be like freaking ten bucks. Now the catch to that is that any shoe under thirty bucks is a piece of shit. Yeah. So you're forced to pay more than that. Make but foot stink. Like paying over a hundred bucks for a shoe is ri- ridiculous, man. You know, I realize that that's some people's like a hobby, and as a hobby, that's fine. If you want a, a fucking closet full of hooves that cost you. 600 bucks a pop just because some dumbass i was gonna say lard ass i don't design shoes <laughs> uh just because some dumbass <laughs> fucking designed them uh you know then that's on you they do your thing i do stupid shit like buy fucking figures you know but having since they're fucking all there's, there's there should be like the fact should remain that shoes are necessary to ambulate and, and mm. just in general exist so there should be a subdivision of shoe that's good and doesn't fucking literally cost you the foot that you're going to put it on. Yeah. Just saying. Well, I counter that with rip-off Crocs. Exist. <laughs> Crocs? Um, I'm not even going to lie, man. I'm a Crocite. Um, I do feel that... That your feet it, reek? Yeah, I do feel that my feet reek and I do feel that maybe... I've gone down a path that I will once one day regret. Uh, but for now, I'm happily of the Croc team. Why, why would you regret it? I don't know, guy. I feel like there's going to be a situation in which like a, a mad hottie like Shakira or something is going to come in and want to be want to want to dick down uh, as what? as me <laughs> dick her down, not her dick me down. And she's going to be like, hell yeah, let's bang. And then I'm going to take my feet off. And she's going to be like, damn, homie, them should stink. Kick me in the dick. <laughs> you won't have to. You just fucking walk around with them. They reek. <laughs> They're not that bad, guy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a take them off and they stink kind of thing. Nah, I was smelling them shit from the car, homie. I was like, damn, homie, this motherfucker took his feet off. <laughs> nope. <laughs> my feet, just... I'll take my feet off. <laughs> you unscrew them shits. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I do have one final point for Crocs. All right. And that is uh, that Frank Reynolds is a Croc man. Well, yeah, but F- Frank Reynolds is Frank Reynolds. Frank yeah, Reynolds, you are not. He's living fringe style, so that's not really. Yeah. I feel he can get away with just about anything. It's a good point. Anyway, tell us what you think about Crocs. Are they a Croc of shit? Or would Ray Croc wear them in his mansion? Oh, Ray Croc? His Mac mansion. Who the hell's Ray Croc? The guy that created fucking McDonald's, man. Is it? Yeah. Why do you know that? Why wouldn't I know that? I thought that? it was Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yeah, clearly that fucking clown did. Anyway, anyway, let us know what you think. Hit like, share, subscribe for more inane conversations like this one. Definitely don't get any fucking benefit out of watching our channel. Other than watching two fat lards. Talk about Crocs. Argue about fucking Crocs for all things. Anyway, we're out.